calls that were committed to unsuspected victims are the purpose to knocking down those that are walking down the streets and knocking down unconscious. We thank God that our heroes in blue who voluntarily swore to serve and protect us will do everything possible to bring these perpetrators to justice and to prevent these attacks from continuing. So thank you, NYPD. Over the course of the past 21 years, since I founded Flapper Showroom, I have seen the accomplishments of the New York City Police Department firsthand. Today, as I gather here, and I work on my transition team, and prepare to represent the many diverse communities of my district in City Hall, I am proud to know that the quality of life of New York City is at an all-time high, when crime is at an all-time low. Thank you, Commissioner Kelly. It is only under the leadership of our police commissioner that our city has become the safest big city in the nation, and for that, we are proud to honor and salute Commissioner Kelly here this morning. At this time, I'd like to call up one of my future colleagues, who is in the State Senate. I'd like to ask Senator Simcha Felder to please come up here and to speak to our distinguished guest here this morning. Thank you. Morning, everybody. Morning, everybody. Morning. I'm just doing to you what they would not do to me in school. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Councilman Chaim Deitch, for those warm words. And Mazel Tov to you, of course, on your most recent election. It's true that you will be working with me as a future colleague, but everyone here has been working with you in the Flopper Showroom for more than 20 years. So thank you very much. And it is fitting that not only you, but our colleagues in government, many of whom will be here soon, but uh, of course, Assemblymember Hugo Weinstein and my colleague, uh, Councilman Eugene. And you'll, I'll get to that soon. Councilman Eugene, please give them a round of applause. As, as well as all of you are here to pay tribute to Commissioner Kelly. Both the Flasher Showroom and the Bar Park Showroom have a long history of working together with the police department uh, to protect our neighborhoods and keep them safe. And we all owe them a great debt of gratitude. And today is all about gratitude, about saying thank you to an individual that we all consider to be the quintessential public servant. And the best police commissioner that New York City has ever had. Commissioner Raymond Kelly. He's a 43-year veteran of the force and has served in 25 different commands before he became the police commissioner. Now let's talk about crime a little bit. People, including myself, have very short memories. People forget. And some will never know what this city used to be like. It was unsafe, it was ungovernable, and it was the wild, wild west. But thank God, and thanks to the commissioner, Commissioner Kelly, and to the police department, New York City is on track to become the nation's safest city. There are only three cities considered to be safer than New York. Plano, Texas, Lincoln, Nebraska, and Henderson, Nevada. And anyone who wants to move there can leave now. <laughs> 
With the help of God, New York City has not experienced a terrorist attack since 9-11. The city has come back in every way since 9-11. And it's due in large measure for the safety and security all of us New Yorkers have enjoyed during Commissioner Kelly's tenure. <laughs> safety and security are the bedrock of any city. If the citizens don't feel safe, nothing else matters. Not education, not social services, not the economy, nothing. Studies show that every single neighborhood in this city is flourishing despite the economy because crime is down. And despite the frequent police bashing that has become all too common, Commissioner Kelly and the NYPD have remained dignified and above the fray. He has always remained independent, never showing favoritism to one community over another. Commissioner Kelly has demonstrated leadership and courage on a regular basis, even under the most trying of circumstances. His departure from the NYPD is going to be a great loss for all New Yorkers. Incoming Commissioner Bill Bratton has big shoes to fill, and we certainly wish him great success in his new role. Commissioner Kelly, you have kept us and our families safe for the last 12 years. We thank you for your service and present this mezuzah. Right. If you want, you can come up now. This mezuzah. This mezuzah, a symbol of safety and protection to you as a token of our appreciation. Men and women of the New York City Police Department, New York and Civilian, this is a phenomenal job. I'd like to have the officers at the first table to stand up. Have I given them a round of applause? <laughs> they have a good job. They have a lot of hand to see how Brooklyn South would have been here this morning, but he has to go out of town because of an illness in his family. But the job that uh, the New York City police officers have done in driving crime down and protecting our city from terrorism and in forging, uh, I believe, the strongest community relations that we've had, certainly in my 44 years now in, in the department. I think the job they've done is, is simply remarkable. And to put the job that, um, that they've done in some context, I think you have to go back to this time 12 years ago, November, December of 2001, in the immediate aftermath of the worst terrorist attack that ever occurred on uh, our shores. It was an awful lot of gloom and doom. Uh, the media was saying that the, the world has fallen apart, crime was going to go up, it wasn't a question of whether it was going to go up, just a question of how much. A, another terrorist attack, well the word that you heard more than any other word was inevitable. Uh, it, it was simply a, a feeling that uh, Things just could not turn around. It was a bad uh, situation. And I can tell you one person who didn't believe in those mayor says, and that was Mayor Michael Woomer. Uh, he, <laughs> he predicted better days ahead, and I would submit to you because of his leadership, that's exactly what happened. You look at the city now, 12 years later, we have more jobs uh, than ever. The schools are better than they've been in a long, long time. Uh, New Yorkers are 
living longer, people are healthier, and they're clearly safer. Crime is down 32% uh, in the last uh, 11 years. We're at record lows for murders, and if you look at the cumulative number, over 9,000 fewer murders have taken place in the now almost uh, 12 years of Mayor Bloomberg's administration, if you compare it to the 12 years before. So these are remarkable numbers, and I think all credit goes to the men and women of the department. They've done just a, a phenomenal job. I'm very proud to have had the honor of being And of course, as Cynthia said, uh, we had to help protect the city from a terrorist attack. We've had 16 plots against New York, and as a result of the good work of members of the NYPD, the FBI, other federal agencies, and quite frankly, sheer luck, uh, we haven't had a successful attack. But if you look at the world uh, in general, it's a pretty dangerous place. You look at the Civil War in Syria, you look at the uh, oil disruption in Egypt, you look and see that Iraq and uh, in, in Iraq, uh, Al Qaeda has surfaced stronger than ever. You have uh, Hezbollah uh, plotting against uh, Israel throughout the world, and Israeli interest uh, throughout the world. So it's still a very dangerous place, and the, the effect of that can certainly spill over into our country. So the watchword really is vigilance, not complacency. And police officers can't do it alone. We rely on you, we rely on the community, we have to work together. And, and certainly, the New York City Police Department has had a very strong relationship with the, with the Jewish community. In many ways, it is the model or interaction with, with other communities. So I just urge you to continue your very strong and very much appreciated support of the, the New York City Police Department. We need you. This is a partnership. Thank you for this recognition. Thank you for your work. Keep up the great work. Thank you. I'm Ari Rabinovich from VinNews.com. I'd like to ask, what do you think about Commissioner Eric Kelly? Do you think he had a better relation with the Jewish community than other commissioners before? I think Commissioner Kelly has been the best commissioner New York City has had and has been protective of every single community. Every single community. And he's done the best job he can with the Abishta's help, with God's help, obviously, nothing else could happen without the, the Abishta in making sure that the city is protected during this last 12 years. What was the main reason you decided to make this breakfast to honor Commissioner Kelly? Well, the people must show appreciation when a job is done well. And it is critical that the Commissioner and the Police Department understand from people throughout New York City that we appreciate the work that he's done in keeping New York City so safe from crime, safe from terrorism, and that we hope that future Commissioner Bratton will follow in his footsteps and do an extraordinary job in keeping New York City safe as well. You know the, the new police commissioner Bratton, did you have a relation with him before? I wasn't in elected office at that time. Uh, and What's your opinion? You think we will have such a great relation with him that we have with Commissioner Eric Kelly? I'm hoping. I'm hoping. What's your opinion on the ongoing knockout attack that keeps on happening in our community? I, I think the knockouts are not only in our community. I think knockouts has become a bad, a bad one, an unfortunate one. And I think the police department is being very diligent and very aggressive about this, particularly in Jewish neighborhoods, and they're on top of it. And I, I think that we citizens have to be very alert and aware of our surroundings to make sure that at least we do everything we can to keep ourselves safe. What, what do you think should the NYPD do 
do you think do you have any better solution for them to stop that or you feel that they're doing the most they can well I'm not a police expert I try to do my job well and I don't try to tell other people how to do their job I understand from the police commissioner and Brooklyn South the supervisors commanders inspectors that doing everything humanly possible to keep us safe and to track down some of the guys that they have information about who committed these crimes. Do you feel that the local NYPD detectives and the sergeants are all feeling with the Jewish community and they're trying to do the best they can on a daily basis? I think everyone can do better. There's no such thing as perfection. Only God is perfect. I think that trying to do everything humanly possible, and I know uh, personally working with the Assemblyman Heiken and Councilman Greenfield and future Councilman Chaim Deitch. We've been in touch with the police department on a regular basis and they're putting more resources into these areas and doing everything they can to protect us. Do you think Commissioner Ray Kelly appreciated his breakfast? Your personal opinion, you what do you to, think? You have to ask him, but if the breakfast was for me, I would have appreciated it. Right, thank you.